Hey guys, welcome back. This is the vlog daily number 11 here, and uh, we're continuing this project. And in this first part here, I'm putting the roof on the, the entire environment here, uh, and at the edge here, I'm extruding the top because the, there's going to be curtains that are going to go up and uh, they'll kind of blend in with the ceiling there. And as you can see here, uh, I've got the curtain placeholders, and then I'm moving on to the, the lights pretty quick here. So I'm just trying to get an idea of how the environment is going to look here. Where it's going to be a night night environment or day environment is still to still to be kind of figured out there, but I'm just getting some light in there to start the, um, the environment off there. I'm just sorting out the corridor there, doing a couple of previews, different light setups, then I'm just applying the material there to the, the curtain placeholders there. So in 3ds Max, I'm starting to create the floor texture, and because it's going to be terrible, uh I'm basically creating a, a sort of power of two uh, square of the the floor texture just by putting a high polygon mesh of kind of like the wooden planks because it's going to be a wooden floor. So I'm just setting all that up, and then I'm using render texture um, to to set that up here. What I realised when I actually finished this, it didn't tile properly, but I, I do uh, eventually get that fixed up. But this is the kind of the steps I'm going through to to making it. So I just create a, a plane which is 256 by 256, and then I'm just projecting the, the high poly uh, floor onto that texture. So you can see here, I'm just rendering it. So I render the normal map, the ambient occlusion, and the diffuse map. So as you can see, I'm just trying to separate the the floors. Uh, wooden panels there. But anyway, this is the uh, the final renders here. So at the top left, I've got the normal map. Then on the right, I've got the ambient occlusion, and then the bottom right there, I've got the diffuse. So that's like the the first part of this texture done. So the next stage is really just finalizing the, the actual floor texture, and then I can uh, bring that into Unreal Engine 4, and then begin setting it up. So we can give that kind of realistic render to it, and um, yeah, so it's been quite short because there was I spent like a couple hours just trying to fix the floor, and I was getting a problem with a kind of like a black border appearing when I was doing the render to texture, and it turns out it's because the UVs, for some reason, when they projected the high polygon mesh, they were actually shrinking the UVs. So as a result, you're getting that kind of black border on the the edges there. So if you ever, if you ever use render to texture. And you find you've got that black border appearing. Um, just check your UVs uh, and your modifiers under the projection UVs. You'll see there that the UVs actually change, so you can bring that back. Just what I do is I just set it to for the UVs anyway. I set it to planar then in the Z direction. Then that should hopefully hopefully resolve itself. So then you hit render, then that should fix that. So um, I know it's been quite short this video, but. Uh, that was just a couple of problems that I was getting there, so that's why there wasn't too much actual progression there. But I did uh, fix that up, and um, in the next uh, vlog daily, there should be a lot more content there. So what I'll do is I'll finish off a the texture, then I'll create the material in Unreal Engine 4, and then um, that'll be the floor done. Then I'll probably be moving on to the, uh, the walls, and then once that's done, I'll then be starting to look at the sort of individual assets. And then I'll um, start getting them set up with materials and things like that. So thanks for watching this daily and I will see you very soon.